Hi, David from Electric Teaching here, and I'm sitting in my classroom at Seattle Academy, the wonderful school that I've been teaching at for the last 10, 11 years now. And I'd like to make my 100th video to be posted on my YouTube channel. I decided to make this a collection of all the Python and Pygame activities and programs that I've made. Let's get started. This first one is called my Starcatcher game. It's the first game I really made with Python. I really like the way this worked out and it has the ability to turn into different games when I teach it to students. All you have to do is change the graphics and change a couple little parts of the programming and you can make a really different game. I decided to add on to this Starcatcher game by making it multiple levels and just to see if I could do this with Python. This could actually be turned into an executable and handed off to friends who have Windows machines. And there's a couple of programs that will allow you to do that with Python. They're called Py2exe programs that are out there. And the Starcatcher game is probably my favorite that I teach to the students. The students love learning it. They get the interaction. Had the ability to use uh, keyboards to move my little starship around to collect the stars. Or even to use your mouse at the end. We made a, a mouse ability to do that. And I, like I said, you can turn this into a lot of different games. The next program I decided to make was using the quadratic formula. I really believe teaching mathematics through programming is an effective way of reaching students. And so I decided to do this in a, my advanced algebra class as well as my software development class. We not only did the quadratic formula where it simply displayed answers on a command line, that's the black screen that's sitting behind there you saw pop up, but we also introduced Pygame library where we were able to interact with the screen. Being able to interact with the screen gave us the ability to show the, program, show the formula as we're building it and have different ways of having answers displayed and information displayed. What I liked doing was not only just doing the quadratic formula solution, so getting the x-intercepts, but also identifying uh, the symmetry line and lots of other things. Later, we decided to make this a little bit cleaner and add features like, do you want to graph this or not? and using the keystrokes on the uh, keyboard. Uh, to do this, um, I have lessons on this, but to do this we had to have many different um, keys uh, registered in the programming to be heard. The next one is my prime test. I really enjoy teaching the prime test. You can see I'm using PyScriptor here in the background. That's uh, different from using the idle uh, GUI interaction um, on the uh, uh, original Python program. So PyScriptor is an integrated development um, area specifically made for Python. Um, when we did the prime test, which is a great one to do with students because it involves loops and if statements and it really gives them an idea of what software is about. So when we did the prime test, uh, we made different versions like how many uh, prime numbers are in the first uh, you know, 2,000 numbers. So things like that, or is there more prime numbers in the 100,000 than there is in the 200,000. Then after that I decided to move on to calculus. And one of the things in calculus is called left-end approximation and right-end approximations. And so we decided to make some programs that um, would give an equation and give a boundary and then integrate, meaning get the area between the curve and the x-axis. We not only did this uh, uh, where it kicked out the area answers using uh, the approximation tricks, but we also had it graph. This is one of the first times I've been involved with graphing an equation and then graphing the area between them. This uh, was one of my favorite uh, kind of realizations of what you can do with Python. This is my click the number game. I call it touch the right number, I guess, on this screen. But the basic idea was to practice divisibility and using the prime test that we made just before, I thought wouldn't it be neat if students could have an interactive game where they recognize prime numbers and then I added on divisibility tests like factors and uh, multiples of numbers, etc., square numbers. What was really neat is I realized what you could do with just an image that you click on and I adapted it into JavaScript and put it on my electric teaching site. This is where I started most of my programming in mathematics um, where I made a graphing puzzle site uh, to practice all the functions and relations that you would study in mathematics. 
Well, I didn't have any kind of quiz on it, and so what happened is I decided to take the the program and translate it into JavaScript and then put it onto the web page to make it an interactive piece there. Uh, in Python programming was making my personal grapher. This is something that I wanted to make lessons for on YouTube channel, on my YouTube channel. And my idea was that every math geek out there, scientists out there, anybody who's been interested in a little bit of programming and is involved with mathematics or science would probably love to have their own little grapher. And instead of just using somebody else's grapher, you can build your own, change the colors, make it do exactly what you want to do, all through um, uh, based on the lessons that I've provided on the YouTube channel. The, this particular uh, grapher can uh, make different graphs, plot points, uh, even did it for calculus where we did area between curves as you're looking at there and then approximated it using some of our previous programming of trapezoid approximation or left in and right in ones. Uh, I really love teaching this in my calculus course. Uh, at the end of the year when we've covered most of the stuff that you need to, get to, to be prepared for for college, we usually take on the idea of applying what we've learned in calculus to this programming environment and actually graph the area between curves as well as get the area solved. Well, I'm David from Electric Teaching and I hope that you've really enjoyed my 100th video compilation of all the Python and Pygame things that I've done.